Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna get our second application of the Sunday lawn subscription plan down. Uh, we have, my grass is pretty decent. Um, the soil is pretty decent from the soil test. I can, you can look at that uh, video up here. I can link to that. And so basically we just need to build up the, the soil health. You know, add some nutrients to the soil itself, uh, humix, uh, seaweeds, all that uh, good stuff that feeds the soil, which in turn feeds the grass. Uh, they sent two pouches of the Iron Booster, and each of these pouches covers 3,000 square feet. It'll totally cover my yard, and uh, you know, it says Iron Booster, Iron Deep Green, Nitrogen Lush Growth, Seaweed Root Health. So, we're gonna get this down today, but first, we gotta get our mow on. Let's go enjoy the mow. I just wanted to show a couple of uh, problem areas that's going on. I mean, it's, it's been 85, 86 today, very humid, feels like 90. Friday is supposed to be 95, feel like 101. So the grass is taking a beating this week. We have had zero rain. Um, clouds are looking a little dark right now. We might get some storms rolling in, that'll be good. I've been watering it a, a little bit but not a lot. Just enough to kind of keep it, keep the heat down a little bit. Um, but I do have some other issues that I'm gonna show you that, uh, I do have some other issues that I wanna point out to you that may look good on camera, but there are some issues here. Let's take a look. This is one of the problem spots. So, We've got a bent grass issue, creeping bent grass. You can see some here, this is some where I pulled it up. And this stuff is nasty. I had a bunch last summer and I used some tenacity, thought I took care of it. I didn't use enough of it, I don't think. So this year I'm gonna be doing it again, getting rid of this uh, before the fall so I can put more seed down in this spot. You can see how it kind of spreads out though, you know, it feels fills in and then you, you can kind of, you know, kind of pulls up like a bad toupee. So this just creeps along on the ground, it's garbage grass, at least in my lawn. Kind of looks like Bermuda or something, I don't know, it's just runs along, fills in and just lays flat. It's disgusting, I hate it. So we got to work on that. Tenacity will take care of it in the cool season lawn. You just need to put, um, I believe it's like every 10 days you need to spray it. So we'll get going on that here shortly. My neighbor has a bunch of it. That's where it comes from. And I think last year when they uh, aerated my yard, it made it worse. You can see more here. Neighbor's got it all down in the ditch. I have some on the side here, more up here. And then my ditch has some spots as well so we're gonna be working on that lighter green flops over it's gross I don't like it majority of the front yard is good I don't think there's any spots up here just down in the ditch the other issue here you can probably see this some rust fungus of some sort. Uh, last time I mowed the lawn there was some spores that came up so that's why you did see me bag this time. That way I can just hopefully it'll just kind of stay in this area. It looks like it's traveled all a little bit but 
we're going to gamble this summer. I'm not going to do anything to treat it. We're just going to see what happens. So if you haven't subscribed by now, you should. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button so that way you can see what happens. Because you know, you want to see what happens to this, don't you? Of course you do. Subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. All right, we got the lawn mowed now, front and back. So now we're ready to start spraying the Sunday lawn service product, the Capri Sun for your lawn. That's what I like to call it. Uh, let's go ahead and grab your sprayer from your first application. And if you need a new one, you can just email them and they'll send you a new one. Not a problem. Make sure that hose is on there tight. When you're spraying, you want to be able to see like a little tinge of brown coming out of the, the sprayer with the water. It's pretty easy to tell if it's working or not. If you don't see anything, stop it, unscrew it, okay, take a look at it. That hose, that tube inside there might have come undone. So check it out. Make sure you see that little brown tint to the water that you're spraying. So let's go spray. <laughs> front yard is done. Let's go get set up in the backyard. Just uh, take your time and you should know the, your measurements of the property. I mean Sunday spells that out for you so you should know kind of where to put your pouches and then just go until they're gone. Does it smell like success? Smells like Asper cream. All right, so back here you can you can tell that we are in need of the fertilizer product back here. Getting you know discoloration. My stressed out area. It's because there's a big stump there, so I have to water that area extra during the summer when we don't get any from Mother Nature. It is sprinkling a little bit right now, but it's not enough to affect this application. Now, if we were going to get like straight on downpours or like a good, you know, three day soaker, I wouldn't be putting this down, but it's been 20, 30% chance scattered stuff for like the next seven days. So this is only going to help, uh, you know, get the ground a little moist so that way the nutrients are able to be absorbed by the plant better. So little sprinkles here and there, not a big deal. You can still do this. So uh, I got the sprayer uh, set up, let's start spraying back here. So there we have it. Save your sprayer for the third and final installment. Make sure to subscribe to see what's going on with that last one. Now, 
some of their marketing that Sunday's been doing is they're kind of using some scare tactics, which I don't agree with. Um, you know, they're they're touting their product as all natural and safe and this and that. Well, yeah, most fertilizers are perfectly safe. Yes, these don't include any pesticides or insecticides or anything like that. It's just all natural products that your lawn love. So I don't agree with the, the scare tactic part, you know, trying to make people think that this is, you know, a superior product to any other fertilizer. It's really not. Um, you can see, I hope you can see in the video that there's a clear difference between my front yard and my backyard. Backyard has only been Sunday products. And so it's, you know, you're up to their schedule. They try to get it out to you in, in, a, in the right time period, which is good, but they're a little late. They're kind of behind this year. I don't know if it's because they're busy. I mean, I know it's a new startup company, uh, so I know they're working out some issues there, but it's no different than any other fertilizer that you can put down. Now, it would be different from a weed and feed, but I've put down ammonium sulfate, I've put down carbon X, uh, let's just put down some potash uh, on the front yard this year because my soil sample uh, stated I needed that. Um, but I've been able to keep the front yard looking a little bit better than the backyard just by adding a little extra fertilizers here and there, you know, putting, putting down a little bit more um, when it needs it. Doesn't need it all the time, but if you can get a little feeding here, a little feeding there, it's gonna look better. And my front yard has been looking better this year, as of right now. Now, we all have our issues with our lawn. I showed you already that I got some weeds I need to work on, uh, some problem areas, but overall, um, my yard is looking, I don't know, 50 times better this year than it did last year. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And it's just grass. Hashtag yard guy. You can find me on uh, Instagram, Garsjum, G-A-R-S-J-M. Come follow me, let's have some fun. I post a lot of different things. I'm a family guy, I got kid stuff. We, we do some fun things every now and then. You see other videos on my channel. Um, so hope you're subscribed. Let's go along for the ride. Thanks everyone. I'll let you know when I get the, uh, the next shipment in. And uh, maybe a week or so from now, we'll see if I can post an update uh, on how the backyard looks and how the front yard looks and see if it looks better. This does have iron in it, so it should give me a nice deep green again. The backyard should keep looking like the front yard. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you have a great day.